We are in Adelaide today. We don't have any plans except to get into town to take a little bit of a look around. We're going to find out how much it costs to get into town today and so far Uber is $88, Uber Black is $163, unless you've booked a shore tour it looks like you have to take the train so I'm not sure how much that will cost or how long it will take so it will be interesting to check that out. The music too loud We're having too much fun That we forget everything Going on outside In our real lives Instead of being depressed We gonna come back and do it All over again we Made it on the train so There's a bit of a run Because it's about to leave um, They're all running free today So including the buses So a good day to come in Just an extra It takes 40 minutes to get in. The idea about getting up so early was to get in before it got too hot during the day. We plan to take a little walk around the city to see some of the sights, but quickly realised that on a Sunday at Rundle Street Mall, the shops don't open till 10 or 11. This didn't worry us too much because it gave us a chance to see it without all the people about. As the morning went on, it just kept getting hotter and it was an expected 42 degrees today. You might think that I'm whinging a little bit about the heat, but when you live in Tasmania, you really feel it. In an attempt to get away from the concrete and find somewhere cool, we headed down toward the botanical gardens thinking we might be able to take some shade and get a cool breeze. We quickly realised that this is probably not going to help us either, so we started to head back toward the train station to head back to the boat for a nice swim and some air conditioning. It's a quarter past ten and the temperature is 38.2. Adelaide, you are lovely but you're hot. <laughs> How hot is it, Jeff? On the way back we took some refuge in the museum. As much as we love to see animals alive and in the wild, the museum had a great animal morgue which allowed us to see them up nice and close. They also had really good air conditioning. There is a lot of beautiful architecture in around Adelaide City and a lot of history as well, lots of statues and monuments. We did stop off for a beer at the casino and that was probably the coldest air conditioning we managed to find. Once back on the boat we had a swim and then we got ourselves all dolled up ready for our romantic dinner at Salter Grill. The cover charge for Salter Grill on the ship is $49 a head but the food is absolutely amazing and if you're looking for that special evening I definitely recommend it if you're travelling on the Jewel or any of the P&O line who offer this restaurant. Cause we don't have any history. <laughs> I love this one. It's even got my sunglasses on. Look at it. <laughs> oh, Erwin's just the lead. After dinner, we dropped back to the room quickly. And then we headed out onto the back deck to watch the departure from Adelaide this evening. And we had a bit of show with the pilot boat. It was a lot of fun to watch. And also to yell out cooey to the people who were on the shore waving us away. We had a lovely day in Adelaide and we would really like to come back maybe in some of the cooler months so that we can enjoy it a little bit more and go out and see a little bit more of the place. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more of our videos of our travels, be sure to check out our channel, like and subscribe 
and we'll see you next time.